Okay, today we're doing Module 8, Descriptive Statistics, SID 3, Level 2, we teach. Describe the shape of the distribution below. Now remember, if it looks like it's going to my left hand, and even though it, it, it looks like it's going to my left hand, then I know it's going to be skewed um, right. Now this one, it looks like it's kind of more in the center. So I would say this one is more symmetrical and I would call it approximately symmetrical. Now this one looks like it's going to my right, which isn't the way I normally would say it. So if I'm thinking it's going to my right, then it's skewed left. Now this one again, looks like it's in the center. So I would say it is um, approximately symmetrical. The box and RISPO plot below shows how much time is spent per night on homework for the for sophomores during September. Take again, it looks like it's going to my um, left, so therefore I'm going to say it's skewed right. What is the percent of the sophomores spend more than 60 minutes on homework per night. Now, if you think about um, box plots, I always think about each little section is 25%, which equals 100%. Ah, it does not look good. It's not going to be right. So let's move it over, which would equal 100%. Whoa. 100%. So what is the percent of the sophomores who spend more than 60% on homework? So that's going to be what? It's going to fit right here, or I would say it's 25%. What is the range of other times that the middle 50% of the sophomore spends per on homework per night? So what I'm going to do is I need to find the range. So I'm taking this number and I'm going to minus this number. So 60 minus 20, which would equal 40 minutes. Now, how many Southmores um, do, do not do homework? Well, on a box plot, you are not allowed, able to tell how many people that took the survey. So it cannot be determined. What percent of the sophomore spends less than 20 minutes per night? Again, if you take a look up here, we see that it would be 25%. Now, which of the following data sets would have the largest standard deviation? So for me to kind of help me out, I take this number and this number. I go 9 minus 3 and I get 6. So I'm looking for the highest number to the smallest number. I'm getting the range. And then this one, I do 9 minus, um, nine minus uh, 6. Whoops. Hold on, I circled the wrong one. I'm going to do 9 minus 6, which is going to get me 3. And then this one is 10 minus 1, which will get me 9. And this one is 13 minus 11, and that's going to get me 2. So the one with the largest would be C. Which of these two surveys data sets shows the greatest variation? Well, this one looks like they're all the same. It's very consistent. But the one that has the biggest variation, the one that's spread out the most, would be survey B. And what statistical measures would you prove, uh, prove your um, answer to part A? It would be standard deviation. It's going to cause the biggest variation when the numbers are so spread out like that. Um, have a great day. Thanks for listening.